Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Resident Evil 2. <clears throat> so, when last we left off, we had explored basically all of the uh, police station. All that remains is we now need to get back upstairs to the uh, clock tower. And then take presumably what is going to be the last of the um, uh, da, 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 Aztec stones to Chief Iron's office to plug it all in. So we've got everything at the ready. Now we just need to get there. So let's see what's the best path. Um, it's probably just going to be up a balcony and then library. So let's do this. Just have to oh, buttons. There we go. Square. Just need to <clears throat> not get uh pulled out by creatures that are up here. She. <laughs> Okay. I was not expecting there to be liquors. Right. Head slow and careful then. So it seems that when they're hunched up like that, yeah, that's them listening. So long as you don't... Yeah, as long as you don't move... When they're hunched up like... You know what? I think I'm just going to leave. Oh, there's only one here. I was expecting they, there was going to be one like guarding every single door. in my throat today. What is going on? Oh. Crash. Okay. Rolling shutters have finally given up. But we don't need to go down to the lower that lower door any that uh, lower hall anymore. I think yeah, there is nothing there. Those things are untenably quick. Like they don't have a uh, a raw. Oh, hell! I've just realised. You need the um. You need the crank. I didn't bring the crank. Because that brings the stairs down and the cog goes up there. Okay, what's the nearest... Uh, where's the nearest item box? Um, dark room. Dark room, I think. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure the way is secure, excluding this one liquor. I'll just let you 
wander your way. Just get close enough, I can just make a break for the door. There we go. Only frames, fuck you. So. Did I ever check just like this end of the uh There's only, there's like one zombie, well, we can't trust, I've just realised we can't trust uh, my knowledge of what's where anymore. I do know there's pistol ammunition down here. So we can at least set up a fight. through here. Okay. And the stairs are yeah, just around. nice and quiet in here. But the trick is going to be I also uh, I also need to recheck what the path is to get back to Ian's uh, office. So let's actually check that now while I'm thinking about it. So, clock tower. Ryan's office. Yeah, that's actually not too difficult to get through. Ryan's office is the uh, the one that's in the with that big U. Uh, circle shaped hall so yeah the windows that got broken are the ones on the right the far right there um, near interrogation I shouldn't need to go through there think there's an item box on the east wing at all. I'm trying to 
plan out my inventory, because even with the uh, side pouch, this is going to be tricky. Let's just focus on getting, to the, getting back to the clock tower first. into the hallway. Okay. painstaking bit we're getting there. I don't even have, like, just the introduction of, like, a little scream that they do when they aggro. That's all I ask for. Just so there's, like, a chance of running past them. Okay. Eric has been removed and putting the cog in is going to free up another spot as well. Your fingies. you go. Reach out very carefully. Okay. Don't fall down. So is that actually is that actually a drop? It's hard to say. Alright. To the chief's office. I've just had a revel realization. I'm gonna need to go through that hallway, presumably to yeah. I'm probably need, gonna need to go through that hallway to uh, get out to the car park. I'm fairly certain I need to get there. Yeah. Time to sit here waiting for you to patrol! It's infuriating! The upper balcony should be easy. <laughs> I went out the wrong door. Got the double doors. Who's messaging me? Okay. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to need to learn custom scripting just so I can manage my Discord notifications.
Dang it. Okay. I managed to give him a slip. That's fine. Whew. Right. I don't quite remember the... Oh, there is an item box here. I completely forgot about this one. I like that handy. Um... Still. I don't remember the state of the Upper East Wing. I think there's only just a couple of uh, crows. So, I'll go back to where the burned out chopper was. Okay. We don't need to tangle with the crows. Excellent. Oh, Sherry! Yeah. Sherry, you're okay. I'm glad to see you're safe, Claire. You doing okay, kiddo? Can't speak. Can't speak to you, but... Insert... Don't use that. Ah, buttons. Secret tunnel to the basement. Mail to the chief. We've lost the mansion lab facility. Oh dear. This is direct from Umbrella. Due to the actions of renegade operative Albert Wesker. Fortunately, his interference will have no lasting effect on our continued virus research. Our only present concern is the presence of the remaining stars member Redfield, Valentine, Burton, Chambers and Vickers. If it comes to light that the stars have any evidence as to the activities of the research, dispose of them in such a manner that would appear to be purely accidental. Continue to monitor their progress and make certain that their knowledge does not go public. That will continue to be your contact throughout this affair, William Birkin. I have deposited the amount of 10,000 US to the account for your services as per this agreement. The development of the G-Virus scheduled to replace the T-Virus is near completion. Once completed, I am certain that I will be appointed to be a member of the executive board for the Umbrella Incorporated. Well, that didn't happen. You just got shot in the back. It is imperative that we proceed with extreme caution. Red Redfield and the remaining STARS members are still attempting to uncover information on the project. Continue to monitor their activities and block all attempts to investigate underground research facilities. We have a problem. I received information... Inf uh, information informing me words that Umbrella HQ has sent spies to recover my research on the G-Virus. There are an unknown number of agents involved. They must not be allowed to take this project away from me as it represents my entire life's work. Search the city thoroughly for any suspicious persons, detain any such individuals by whatever means deemed necessary, and contact me immediately through a net. With these proportions, any possible threat should be eliminated. I will not allow anyone to steal my work through the G-Virus, not even Umbrella. Uh oh. You done hacked up, frown. Okay, way to go down. Alright, kiddo. Let's go down, I guess. I'm going down there. Stay here and wait for me, okay? Probably the safest place in the building right now. Does this go down to the car park? I guess it must do. Uh, is this the cells? I forget. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is the cells, I think. Uh oh, oh! <laughs> Your boy Billy. I don't actually remember how Irons dies in the remake. <laughs> Sconces? Really? Okay. But yeah, I don't remember how Irons dies in the remake. I remember Sherry throws some acid in his face at one point, but... <laughs> so you've made it this far. Not bad, girl. Not bad. But I'm not letting anyone leave my town. Everyone's gonna die! Calm down, Chief. What happened? Shut up! You couldn't possibly understand what's happened. Those monsters from Umbrella have destroyed my beautiful town. You've got a fucking deagle, holy crap. How could they do that to me after everything I've done for them? So it's true. You have been working with Umbrella. Then you must know about the G-Virus. What is it? Tell me! If you must know, it's the agent that can turn humans into the ultimate bioweapons. Superior to the T-Virus in every way. Dr. William Birkin is the genius behind the project. William Birkin? I'm sure you've already seen his little girl running around here somewhere. Sherry, isn't it? Uh -oh. In case you haven't already figured it out, the monster that's been tearing my precinct apart is yet another product of the G-Virus. The ultimate bio-weapon. Umbrella must be trying to cover its tracks. But if I have to go, I'm going to take you with me. Oh! I think you might be a bit beyond that. Oh! Oh! Holy crap! Where did it go? Oh, hello. <laughs> Priorities. Just gonna grab them real quick. I was expecting to see that thing go scuttling off into the darkness. Let's see. Take your deagle, please. Alright, I guess we're going down. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. What the fuck are you? You're... I thought we were going to be fighting Billy here. That ain't Billy. Oh. Ugh. Brought the acid nades. I knew this was going to happen. But I can't even run past it. It's got. Oh, that can be 
completely whiffed. This is a bad situation. Off me. No time. Okay, I just need to... Damn it, I, th I think we traded. Yup. Okay, I'm gonna hit this button to load. Gonna <laughs> go back and get the grenade launcher. Oh dear. Do me a lot better. I should equip it while I'm at it. Okay, now let's be trying this again. Oh, I've just realised we're going to have to go through uh, Claire. all of the talking again. Sherry, you're okay. I'm glad to see you're safe, Claire. Any ammunition? Check the desk for anything? No. Okay. Awfully handy that uh, Claire can just intuit which of these goes in what. That's away because we're going to need evidence. I'm going down there. Stay here and wait for me, okay? Stretch my neck out while we're doing stuff. Okay, let's rumble. Somebody watched Alien before they uh, came into work that day. Those wet, like, slurch noises make my stomach turn. Come on. Give me some ammunition, please, I beg you. Where my controller keeps so shrinking. Made it this far. Not bad, girl. One of these days, when I get the 2.0 model, I'm gonna, uh, I'm just gonna have Everyone's that controller baked die. in. Calm down, Chief. What happened? Shut up! <laughs> you couldn't possibly understand what's happened. Those monsters from Umbrella have destroyed my beautiful town. How could they do that to me after everything I've done for them? So it's true. You have been working with Umbrella. Then you must know about the G-Virus. What is it? Tell me! If you must know, 
It's the agent that can turn humans into the ultimate bio weapons. Superior to the T-Virus in every Look how he's way. saying on all this, like... He's like a, a James Bond villain, you know? I'm sure you've already seen his little girl running around here somewhere. Sherry, isn't it? In case you haven't already figured it out, the monster that's been tearing my precinct apart is yet another product of the G virus. The ultimate bio weapon. Umbrella must be trying to cover its tracks. But if I have to go, I'm going to take Interesting the way the way that he words that it implies to me that he might he doesn't know the, that that's Billy. Okay, so you do, ugh, you do see it pop out, but you don't see, you don't see it run down the hole. Okay, doesn't look like there's anything else here. Going down, let's try this again. Now with added grenades. This a roll. Don't 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 use the grenades on little things. Burn his arm. Just keep dumping grenades into him. There you go. Shrivel, you horrid little thing. Ugh. Okay. Stick around and wait for that thing to regen. No, I get uh, on a lot of Resident Evil protagonists' case for uh, not confirming their kills, but there are times where that's beneficial because oh, we have to go back for Sherry. Well, yeah, there are times when not confirming your kills is beneficial because uh, there's no guarantee that it's actually dead, so you don't want to stick around. All right. Sus. Irons. Okay. Sherry's all right. Otherwise, I'm going to have to eat those. Have eat those words about Chief's office being the safest place. 
Hey, kiddo. You came back. Oh. I can't believe the man who developed the G virus is actually her father. Huh. What's wrong, Claire? It's nothing. But I think I found a way out of here. We should be able to find some place safe if we can just make it out of town. But don't worry, I'll protect you. I promise. But you have to make sure you don't. I wonder if you just like you ignore that letter. The, the Leon, evidence thing that was on the there? floor. We're leaving. Are you crazy? The streets are still crawling with zombies. It'll be all right, trust me. We found a way to the sewer. Follow us later. Claire! Claire! Wait, wait! <laughs> Too bad, Leon. I've got a bug up my ass, so I'm going. Oh. Uh, kiddo, you may want to cover your eyes at some point because there's gonna be a guy who's been split in half. Probably isn't gonna be particularly pleasant for a small child to look at. Yeah, don't don't mind that kid. It's fine. It's just <laughs> Sign of I hope you don't have any uh, paper cuts or anything on your legs. You're only wearing shorts. Oh, shit. Claire? Shush. Run. Well, so much for slipping away unseen. We'll just have to outrun him. Here's hoping that he can't break through that floodgate. Ugh. Fifth. Whoop! What the hell? Right, Spark, open that one up. Alright. I guess we're just going to have to go... ...be so freaking careful. Hopefully there's no zombie moths. So that's a point. Isn't um, Raccoon City's water supply tainted at this point? It's out of reach. So Claire could take that. I'm just gonna... Ugh. Oh, we're having a grand old time. Oh, Roll! We're going to have to vent, child. 
right. Smeg. Okay, well, it looks like that was the only way out for Sherry anyway, so... Oh! Bugs! God damn it. We are being pursued. Trash pile. We threw this away. Oh. Sherry is having it rough. Oh good, a concussion. Oh. Ew. What the fuck was that? Need to catch up and find her. Oh, good. Blue herbs. Wolverine will get better. Yep. For those curious about what that means, go and check out uh, Mine and Colonel's playthrough of uh, Resident Evil 6 in the co op campaign. Sewer management facts. On the first and third Wednesdays of the month, Angelica Margaret, Chief of Maintenance, will make use of the facility to be sure to reduce the moisture levels in the facility by activating the fan, as the equipment she will be using is susceptible to water vapour. On the 28th of every month, the chemical transporter Don Weller will use the facility. Chemicals will be translated to extremely volatile. Extreme caution should be observed throughout their transport. On the 6th and 16th of every month, Police Chief Brian Irons will visit the facility to attend the regular meetings that take place in the lab. On the 4th Friday of every month, of every other month, William Birkin will use the facility to conduct a training seminar for the Chicago branch of Umbrella Incorporated. As the probability of an attack upon Dr. Birkin will be high, take every measure conceivable to guard his life. He will be informed of all other potential visitors at the times they will arrive as needed. These individuals to their destination safely. We're expecting nothing but the best from you. Right. So even the sewer management guys were were in on this. Soviet looking at control board. Uh, do I want to switch any equipment around? I didn't want to really save. Low on supplies. Ribbons. Anything in the lockers. There we go, that'll do. Is there anything useful? No. Nice. On the inside. And what are you? Okay. It's unlocked. Away. Uh, let's put one of these blues away. And ink ribbons. 
uh, the first aid spray because I've got a double a double green. Right, so where the heck is where is this going to lead? Covered. Cords and meters placed in order. I mean, having worked in warehouse, I have a distinct doubt that they are placed in any sort of order. Don't mind if I do. Oh, regular grenades. So wait, where's the... Where's the map? Just here, wasn't it? That was the map, okay. Okay, so I'm not I can't get through that vent because that's that's the path that Sherry took, so we just need to actually it's another door. Let's see where this leads. Cannot vent, unfortunately. They're too big. Okay, this is where this is where Sherry landed. Hmm. All right. Crewmate confirmed. Or just inept. It could be both. Alright. That's fine. A couple of extra grenades and some uh, FPV air quotes shotgun shells. Those away. Um... I'm going to swap the acid grenades for the explosive. Something that uh, I think you will like, Colonel, since as you're here, so I've been playing uh, some more Hell Divers, and uh, I've been checking out. Oh, good lord! Uh, I've been checking out more of um, the the new update, the the big. Kind of buffs update. That doesn't go. But uh, all of the buffs and changes and stuff. Uh, you will appreciate this. The grenade launcher now has a full auto mode. For when you just subtlety be damned. Oh. Those are gunshot holes. Scattered bloodstains. Fan. Need to find a way to turn that fan. There's a dead guy down there. There 
there are several dead guys. Lane rounds. Oh, right, we're in the sewers. That means, uh, hunters. Oh, good idea. Oh, hell. Uh. <laughs> so I just got level up. Um, so I I've been playing the new update with all of the the new weapon changes and stuff. Uh, oh Christ! Um, the grenade launcher now has a full auto setting. Okay. Oof. There is another path. Fuck that, I'm not taking it. What's this? Blue herbs. Oh, okay. This is just a... Uh, oh! Who are you? Hi, madam. Oh, I see. Another spy sent by Umbrella, right? Let me guess. You must be a net. You're going to steal my husband's G virus, aren't you? You are tenacious, I'll give you that. Husband? Then you must be a net. Sherry's mother? What? Sherry's wandering around alone in the sewers. You have to help me find her. That's impossible. I told her to go to the police station. What's she doing here? William will be after her. William? That's right. The creature that's been causing all this destruction is none other than my own husband. Ooh. Ooh, we get to see this bit. This way. You mentioned uh, you can't see it on the model, but I'm doing the Gendo Ikari. It's sheer perfection. My precious G-Virus. No one will ever take you away from me. There he is. So you finally come. Doctor, we're here to collect the G virus sample. Sorry, but I won't just hand over my life's work. <laughs> you might hit the sample. That's it, all right. Okay, let's move out. <laughs> William. Oh my. Hold on, darling. I'm taking care of that bullet wound first. Stay here. He makes a Alpha terrible decision. Retrieve the sample yet. Affirmative. We'll be at the rendezvous point in one minute. Roger. Ow. Are you telling me that he injected the G virus into his own body? The G virus has the ability to revitalize cellular functions. What, what, what was that? Something's wrong. Let's check it out. Over there! Shoot! Eat this, you freak! The guns are stopping it! What is this thing? He's broken the needle on his sternum. I mean... Uh, oh. I don't think he cares. What, what is this thing? Fire! Fire! He ate all of the other G-Virus samples.
That's how the T virus got into the water supply. So those rats were the carriers of the virus? As a result of his virus induced transmutation, William should have lost any prior memories he had as a human by now. I tried to save him, but I'm afraid it's already too late. But. And that's not even the entire story. Every G virus bioweapon, including William, has the ability to implant embryos into other life forms. That's why he's after Sherry. What are you trying to say? The bodies of individuals with non related genetic coding are likely to reject the embryo. Ah, uh, that's what killed Iron. Sherry is his daughter. That possibility is non existent. It's an inherent survival instinct. Uh oh. It's Sherry. You go that way. Oh yeah, mind the spiders, by the way. So the valve handle. Wait, hang on. So the oh, okay, we gotta. Look. Now I need to find my way back to. Save room. Um. Okay. Looks like I'm just going to have to backtrack. Friggin' spiders. Ugh. Thankfully, they don't seem to be that smart. The, the, the really, like, understated thud noise that they make, it's very subtle. It's very, very unsettling. Sherry can hang on while I figure out the uh, oil pressure puzzle. Okay. I'm going to uh, very quickly go and use the facilities while this app break plays out. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Okie dokie, we're back. Thank you for sitting through those ads. It does support the channel. So, let's get back to that oil pressure thingy. And it will also be... It must be worth checking out the other path that goes off the spider hallway. Hoping that there's spiders. Bigger than they were before. They definitely seem bigger. I go dead ahead this way, apparently. Horrible, 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 horrible
Horrible, horrible, horrible. Yes. In. Let's see if we can figure this out. Okay. Guessing we need to manage that thing up and down. Two green herbs. Okay, so that gives me a a blue green and a triple green. So I've got some decent healing items on me. And some extra flame grenades. I'm just gonna load those in. Just to save the space. I just do this now to send the bridge up. There we go, that's gonna stop anything from pursuing me. escape true but i the mechanism is still there high pressure gas cylinder in case of an emergency the red light will turn on and the gas cylinder may be removed okay. we're gonna need a high pressure gas cylinder for these bulkheads She appears to be unharmed. Oh! Right! High pressure gas cylinder. Reenact the inclusion of Jaws. Come on. Smile, you bitch. <laughs> Come, Louie. All right. Good to see that that uh, Resident Evil 5 boss fight is uh, a, a long and storied method of <laughs> dealing with shit. Oh, great, and it's bloody sealed. In case of an emergency. Yes. And I wonder how you were going to figure that out as uh, a eight-year-old playing this game. Come on, wake up, Sherry. What 
<laughs> My stomach. Oh. It hurts. Don't worry. You'll be fine. Come on. Let's go. Well, shit. Okay. How are we going to get her out of this one, considering... Irons died within, like, a minute? Unless the fact that she's, like, compatible, air quotes, is going to change things. Don't know where this leads. It says find something, kiddo. Okay. Yeah, it says. Hey buddy, what happened to you? Eagle medal. Mega dead. June 28th. It's been a while, but I saw Don today and we talked We talked after completing our work. He told me he had been sick in bed until yesterday. Doesn't really come as much of a surprise given how long we've been working here. He was sweating like a horse and kept scratching his body. Oh dear. It was hot, but he just looked at me funny. What's wrong with him, anyway? He finds he's been visiting the lab quite often lately. I don't know what he's doing there, but he always looks grim. The expression on his face has been even more unsettling than usual. I guess it's because of Dr. Birkin's impossible requests. Chief has my sympathies, though. After all he's done for the town, he doesn't deserve this. What he's done for the town, you say? I really drink because I'm on the graveyard shift, but I don't suppose I have much to complain about since it's how I make my living. Chief Irons came in late today, looking grimmer than his usual self. I tried to joke with him to cheer him up, but he wasn't amused. He pulled his gun and threatened to shoot me. I was able to calm him down, but that guy must have some serious problems. He knows he can't enter the lab without my help and my medal. This is what it means for the Chief to serve and protect. Oh dear, I have bad news for you about American cops, my friend. William informed me that the police and media had begun their investigation into Umbrella's affairs. He said that the investigation will be citywide and there's a possibility they'll even search through the sewers. He asked me to suspend all Umbrella's sewer activity operations until the investigation is concluded. The sewer will still be used for passage, but he stressed that I'm to be extremely cautious and that I'd lose my job if anyone finds out about this. Was it Irons that got him? So I'm guessing. Hmm. Yeah, you have to put the crank, you have to crank it. Weird system, why not just have it be digital? You sure? Sweetheart. Bugs. Last one. Oh, this brings us out down here. Okay, so hang on. Yeah, and that's gonna go. 
So where does the medal go? Found anywhere where the water is controlled from. You launch it back out again because you never friggin' know. So where are we going? The only place I can think of. Hmm. Jerry, Jerry. As soon as these guys. Go straight in the dome. That's interesting. Where the hell did all these bodies come from? And where the hell are the... Where'd the spiders go? Well, if nothing else, this means I can check out the bodies of the... The other army guys have got anything. There we go, I see the system now. Use. Look at design like a friggin' penny dropper. Doot. Ow. Did that poison me? Oh, it in fact barely did any damage. Okay, I was worried for a second there. That's a big spider. Yeah, they're fucking bigger than the ones in Resident Evil 1 were. Oh. That was a big thud. I think we might be about to encounter Billy. Just gonna very quickly... There we go. Anything in the wrecking? Cones. Oh, hello. It's locked. Okay. Where the hell did Annette get to? Who's boot on? Let me check over here to see if there's anything. 
cracked it there. Okay. Fire gun. I need something to ignite it. Why does this have a manual fuse? Techno beats. Nice here, a bunch of. Oh, hi. Jerry, back up, back up, back up, back up. Oh, nice, he's actually down, down. I think you're actually bleeding. Oh, you're back up for more. And you're probably down. God damn it. I think I've been... Saving up the ammunition, hey. Alright, so I, I have a, a minor complaint is that the grenade launcher has very little splash to it. Those guys were practically touching one another and they didn't really care. You don't look like you've gotten anything on you. I'm just going to leave you alone. If it does turn out they've got something on them, that's on me. I don't care. You just like bumble into that wall a bit more till your friend can catch up. He yeah, half of that just collided with the friggin' walls and floor. That's a hell of a way to make a uh, grenade launcher in a game like this crap. Cherry, time to boogie. Let's just keep going. Safety. After a fashion. Take the hard hat. Some flame grenades. And some more really regular grenades. Let's just load these bad boys up. Okay, nothing else. 
Anything I want to change about my loadout? I have a feeling that we're going to be fighting Billy, so... I think we're fine, honestly. I'll put the, um... The green-blue away. Yes. What are you buzzing at me, phone? Okay, it's just other people going live. Save. ammunition seems to be hidden. Wait a minute. We're in the Raelian. We completely missed... This is like... the end of the game, isn't it? Yeah, in the remake, this is where you have the the showdown with Birkin's like final form. There's a keyhole. Yeah, this is where you have like the showdown with Birkin's final form. Oh, Jerry, don't do this. We can't have just like completely skipped the. here. We can't have just like completely skipped it, surely. Uh, the lab, I mean. We can't have just like completely skipped the lab. Okay. Oh, look. Here we go. Control panel key. Ride this boy all the way to Chicago. Can we just leave Sherry in there. I'd rather not have her walking around when there's going to be heavy. Machinery moving. Shush! Loud noises. Oh, we're going down. Oh, okay. Wow, that is a mega structure of a. Claire, my stomach. My stomach hurts. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hang in there, Sherry. The forehead's burning up. I've got to hurry before the embryos pupate. So what the hell are we going to do? Just the... Crap. So what the hell are we going to do? We're just going to... Here we go. Someone's left flame grenades in the shitter. Yeah, what the hell are we going to do? Just like emergency... Surgery? Kind of raid. Here, I'm gonna crack open one of these flame grenades. If you just drink the. <laughs> there it is, same brain. <laughs> the 
bit of just like casual child endangerment, it's fine. Okay, so emergency, the red light will turn on. Access from outside will be prohibited for a limited time. Okay. It's a scrap. Hey, Billy! Child's already endangered. Yeah, it's. Whoa! He's through. Wow! Ooh. Oh god. Why is that more grotesque in PS1 graphics? Ow! Holy crap, that hurt. Okay. Billy is no goddamn joke. Oh. oh. He's getting worse. You don't like that, do you, you fucker? He's going to be back for round. What is this, four now? Okay. Kid, hang on. We're going to need to punch the throttle. I'm really twitchy. You decide to do an ad break now. You are killing me. Sherry. Sherry, I shot your dad with like eight flame grenades. We need to hurry the hell up and find find a doctor who's still alive. Okay. Security booth. So I think we can lock that. Claire? Oh, you're finally awake. Isn't this... That's okay. You keep it. I'm sure it'll keep you safe. Oh, it's her jacket. Her, you, um, Claire. red jacket. Even though... I'm an only child... Neither of my parents ever spent much time with me <laughs> because of their work. Oh my goodness. I grew up alone. Normal child behavior. Now that you're with me. That's this is a, a good way for a, a small kid to be talking. <laughs> Sherry. Rest here for a bit. I'll be right back. As soon as I found the antidote for you. Uh, she has a parasitic infection, love. Antidote is not what we need. Or oh, flame grenades. Wow, they are getting generous with these things. What to do in case of shit being fucked. Huh. Oh, I do have an acid round. Okay. Uh. I'm gonna stick with the the flame grenades and can fight. I'm gonna be real, you didn't miss much. I just shot him in the face like eight times with a with the flame grenades.
God, it really is. Like, it's the, the fact that he doesn't... It's not that his, like, base uh, mutates. It's that his entire head gets, like, shoved down and to the side and he grows another head. And then his face just becomes, like, part of his torso. I said, it's like, for some reason, it seems more like visceral and gross in the uh, with the PS1 graphics. What the hell? Okay. What is this? A huge breaker system that regulates all the power. Main fuse has been removed and the power is not active. Okay. Absolutely colossal system. establish whatever overarching puzzle we need to solve in order to get out of here. Inside. Oh, oh. That's unpleasant. User registration. Temporary user registration for the culture experiment room. Using a guest password non valid 24 hours. Yeah. Nice. Please stop slurping in my ear. Harry Arbor. Scum. Scum. Um. Laboratory security manual. Security measures in case of an emergency. Uh, oh, I should actually answer your question. Uh, I'm doing all right. We have found our way to the secret underground lab. Uh, Sherry is struggling, but we're going to do our best. In the instance of an uncontrollable biohazardous breakout, all security measures will be directed towards the un underground transport facility. In the instance that any abnormalities are detected among cargo in transit, all materials will automatically be transported from the loading zone to the designated high-speed train, at which point all materials will be isolated and disposed of immediately. In the instance of a Class 1 emergency, all uh, the entire train will be purged and disposed of without delay. In the instance that the lab itself has become contaminated, the northernmost route currently used to transport materials to and from the facility will be designated as the emergency escape route. This route will secure passage to the relay point outside the city limits. Right, so there is a way out, we just need to find it. Disclosure about any information regarding the research conducted here or the existence of this facility is strictly prohibited. As it is top priority to keep all research classified, escape access may be denied under certain extenuating circumstances. Wow! That's a good thing to find in your uh, employee handbook. Hey, if it all really goes to shit, we might just... Uh... We, we might just leave you to die.
quickly that's gonna kill whatever's living in the uh, in the air vents. Sounds like a great plan. I know, right? There's a there's a line in Half Life One as well that states that um, your uh, evacuation class, like your evacuation classification, is the what, what was the line? At the discretion of the rescuer. <laughs> Ew. Somebody's gooped on the floor. Oh, this is deep freeze. Whew. Nippy. Fun fact, I actually used to work in a, uh, in a deep freezer like this. Well, not like this, but I used to work in a, uh, in a deep freezer at one point, and it was so cold that uh, legally we were not allowed to be in it for more than about 20 minutes at a time and that was with all of the like arctic survival gear that we had to dress up in to to go in there because it was like negative 40 in there a control box for the super low temperature experiments I could set the superconductor fuse here if i had a fuse case okay fuse case well there you go Do some superconductivity. Behold what the PS1 is capable of. Hopefully, that's not going to set anything free. Check of the cabinets. But yeah, uh, so Claire is currently wearing a uh, cropped biker outfit. And like I said, uh, when I was working deep freeze, we had Arctic survival gear and you weren't allowed in there for more than 20 minutes. So I can only imagine just like the 45 seconds that she was in there just now, chilled to the absolute bone. Shutter switch, no response. Okay, if we want to open up those shortcuts, we've got to. Right, let's very carefully plug this in. However, when people say she's hot, that's not what they mean. Right, let's see if we can start opening these uh, shutters. It's all green in here, but I don't know... Oh. oh, you things! Fucking hell! Okay. Oof. Let's go. Sit down. Those look a lot goofier than they do in the remake. In the remake, they're basically like a only partially muscled skeleton. But... Nope. <laughs> Come back there later. But they are a, a only partially muscled skeleton with um, vines just like puppeting it. Got a bunch of them now. Okay, I think we've... It's not the plant monster.
Except his corpse looks like he poured oil all over the place. Did he know? What, what do you reckon we can start some fires? TPOW gas sprinkling complete. Well, he hasn't done dick! Okay, uh, we want to find our way... Yeah, we want to go back to the security booth. Let's go get the lighter and see if that does anything fun. Yeah. Ow. Wow, he just poured loads of acid in my face and that nearly killed me. Okay, thankfully though they, they do have uh, some serious trouble when it comes to just like turning around. Just once, I would love to see in one of these, like, oh, you... want some as well. What you're on fire. Just once I would love to see the merge system thing in one of these secret underground labs actually function. Because it never does. It's always you hit the big red button, a whole bunch of alarms go off, and then nothing. Where the bloody hell have all these Zambos come from? Okay, um... So where's the lighter? So that's a lighter, there you are. That's the knife. Lighter. Scoop my chair around a little bit. There we go, so I can sit back without falling off the bottom of the camera. Thankfully this doesn't seem to be the same as the lab in Resident Evil 1, where the specimens just kept respawning infinitely. So... Uh, really quickly, I'm actually going to go and check the other shutters. ready because there's going to be more plant creatures. No! I like that handy. Right, this looks important. Two or more staff need to be present to enter. Fingerprint verification. Right. And I'm going to fly. We're going to need at least two hands. Not necessarily our own. I just realised I got like really deep in the tank uh, with uh, the game and I haven't been paying any attention to uh, what the time is. We're at, <laughs> we're at an hour and fifty already. 
just because I like got well and truly zoned in. Don't you want to know how he keeps starting fires? It's my desire. Fortunately, green wood doesn't doesn't often burn too well. Nor does a water sprinkler system work on an oil fire. Oh, I would not recommend that. But you do, you, madam. Shit. Just gonna do it. Okay. There's got to be something in there. I'm sure that all that wasn't in aid of just getting a couple of ink ribbons. I don't have any acid grenades. That's how. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh. Don't get mauled, don't get mauled. Alright. <laughs> okay. That was touch and go for a moment. Okay. So the only way forward is forward. Uh, down into the pit full of God knows what. You know what? I'm going to have to come back this way, so... Uh-oh. What did I just say a second ago about green wood not really burning? Mega fucking slow. Oh, but you can just... Right. They are laterally symmetrical, so they can just flip over if I run behind them. Ugh. I don't like those pods that are that it's got that look like eyes. That is not on. I said I uh I don't have any acid grenades which I'm pretty sure is what uh the liquors are weak to do have a lot of just regular old grenades let's load those bad boys up and uh Jolly knife hands over here. Now we just need to carefully. Oh, 
use the triple green. Ankles. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> he got me. <sighs> All right. Well, fuck. That's going to send me back a whole bunch. This is going to send me back to uh, before I started that f before I started the fire. Yeah, dang it. Okay, well, at least now I can save myself an extra trip and uh, bring the lighter with me. And we shall bring the acid rounds. Trying to get us caught back up to where we were before we call it a night. that the anti-BOW gas sprinkler whatever really seem to do nothing. I'm very curious what that is actually meant to do. So this is, yeah, that's the you may be left to die I wonder what got that researcher. Guessing by his his model, he looks like he's just got Yeah, it looks like he's just got two wounds in his back, so it looks like somebody just got up behind him and shot him. I could throw an empty bottle somewhere off to the right. It's fine. Got the grenades. Got scuffed a little bit, but doesn't count. Back to the freezer and get the get the fuse. By then, that should be a good place to leave off.
weird that there doesn't seem to be any sort of contest. Like, there's no resistance in this room whatsoever. Uh, it's out of space, that's shocking. You know, use that green just to get me back up to fine. Take the first aid spray. There we go. It's just going to go straight into the system. Free up the space. feeling that that uh, entire like little animation is mostly just like technologically showing off just like look at how many like moving bits that we can have with the power of the ps1 In. So, yeah, let's go this way. Open this shutter. for again just absolutely good with it okay Okay, that is where we will leave. Some nice ominous music here. Okay, Ugh. the beauty of a digital uh, digital version of this game is I can just save wherever the hell I want. All right, over to the booth, Voomp, and let's see who's on and about. I can spell. There we go. Ta -ta -ta. Okay. Matto is playing Raft. Vivica is doing some art. Ox is playing Gran Turismo. Ground Dog is playing Warframe. And uh, Laser Bears is playing more Silent Hill Homecoming. Um, let's go to Viv, I think. There we go. We're going to go over to Vivica's. We're going to see what she's up to. Alright, thank you all for joining me. And I'll see you tomorrow where we're going to continue with more Resident Evil 2. Uh, oh, quick extra thing that I wanted to say uh, while I'm here is uh, I will soon be moving fully off of Twitter onto Blue Sky with the recent changes that Twitter have been doing to the block system, which means the block basically has no function now. I've had enough. It's the, finally the straw has broken the camel's back, so we are moving over to Blue Sky fully, but keep an eye on things, and I will uh, be explaining the situation to the moment 
on Blue Sky and Twitter, and I'll put a link to the Blue Sky on the Twitter when everything is ready. Until then, thank you all for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow for Resident Evil 2. Good night and much love. Oh, not that button. That button. There we go. You've got to go to the right shape. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Resident Evil. When last we left off, we were down here in the lab. There's a bunch of liquors. So let's load up the old acid grenades. So we need to find our way through here. I quickly scratch the old beard. To find our way through here because we need to find some way to cure Sherry. She's not doing well. So. I see that uh, grate up at the top. Night. I do have the ammo. I have a lot of uh, acid grenades. I've got a lot of, just got a lot of grenades, really. Would you believe me if I said I didn't plan that? No. Just gonna grab that. Yes. He's learning. Learning. Okay. We're in outer space. Alright, we need... Hopefully there's another safe area. But yeah, I, I didn't imagine it. These guys are... upgraded liquors. Oh, nice, that one. One shot. This clock on us says, so to verification, MO disc open the gate. Good looking shutter. The red gateway to underground platform. Right, so that's the evacuation route. <laughs> May not work depending on how high the shit has hit the fan level is. Oh, actually, yeah, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna look at that file again. Hang on. Was yeah, there we go. Access may be denied under certain extenuating circumstances. If it's all gone to pot, we might just lock you in. <laughs> Which I think is kind of what ended up happening. Big screen. The button for the lab. Nice. I can see a blue glowy. Let me interact with the blue glowy. Unless that was it. Uh. Oh, this is a safe room. Weird, the music didn't change. Okay. Let's fix the old inventory up. Okay. 
Ents. There we go. Okay. Inventory is nice and condensed. Um. The, the Resident Evil Grenade Launch is always great because it's got the, the multiple ammo types, but uh, man oh man, does it make me just want to bring all of them all the time. Okay. To put away key items. Because we really don't need them. Uh, we'll keep the flame grenades. I have a distinct feeling about those. And I'm going to go back and grab all of those herbs that we left behind. I believe I also left a bunch. Um, uh, I left. That was. You fucker. <sighs> Alright, they're in the goddamn walls. Good fucking sign. Just gonna combo all of them together. Nothing in the ashtrays and in the bin. No. All right. All right. Let's hope that that doesn't keep happening, because I'm probably going not going to have the the grenades for it. But still, we're going to keep the acid grenades on us. Okay. I will actually do a, a hard save here. As much as I like abusing save states. have a valve handle and a lighter which the game believes are still relevant those ceiling panels okay none of them are in polygonal 3d they're all pre-rendered oh Okay. Well. The game wants some sort of, uh... Oh, red herb. It's like the second one we've seen all game. But yeah, the, the map says that's going to want some sort of, uh... E. Uh... Yarp. I think the lighter is only there so you can keep activating that one flare launch near the tram car. Right, I never did that. I don't know what I don't know what it does. Something's going on in the next room. Okay. Why did you just open? Is it a particularly important item? Because I don't think I can go back for it now. The 
Flare, no. Okay. Which I will assume means it is important for Leon. You got like an ID tag on you or something? Yep. We might want to break up the flame nades. Actually, put the launcher. Burn. I think it's a key for a weapon upgrade. Well, fuck. Well, it's fine. We'll we we'll get it for for Leon. Double knockout. Oh god, I'm wounded. Holy shit. Okay. I think there's only one left. That doesn't have weapon upgrade, so for her, I think it's just extra ammo. Right. Yeah, because Leon has Matilda. Which gets a stock and a three round burst mode? At least that's what it does in the remake. Okay, now it's just one of you. I can dance around you without too much contest. Box. I think this looks important. He got some sort of lathe. Ah, vaccine synthesis. The base vaccine must go inside. Right. Okay, we need to find chemical storage then. I think that guy's just completely lost me. Yeah, because they... In the remake, they gave Claire uh, weapon upgrades. She She could get them in the remake. Your head turn. Okay, it's just an exam dialogue. But you could um, upgrade her revolver with but you could upgrade her revolver with a longer barrel and a big boy bullet uh, chamber. So she could like hot swap uh, between, because in Claire's campaign in the base. Oh hello. Annette. Hi. You killed William. I'll never forgive you for that. Wait. He's not dead. Kinda. I just prepared a sample of the G virus, and this time, no one will take it from me. This is the most significant piece of research my husband has ever left in my hands. Stop it! Sherry's in serious trouble. William implanted her with his embryos. There's no telling when they'll pupate. And if that happens, then Sherry won't. Won't? What? Oh. William. Lady, that thing is not your husband anymore. Oh my god. Ugh. William, you're alive. No, he's not. Ah! All right. Sorry, lady. Get the fuck out. going on in here. Uh, oh, it's a moth. Ah! 
Oh, get off. The moth had like a skull design on its back. God, do I need to... Do I need to get my knife and come back? Just like, turn on the aircon in here, or shoot them. Just try not to hit the PC tower. There we go. Operating computer. Umbrella Rodem system. Culture experiment room staff registry. Accessing. Please enter your username. Oh, I remember this. It was. Here we go. So that'll put us on the database for 24 hours. Aha! Okay, so now, where was the handprint scanner? There we go, back up. N64 version, the username is Nemesis. <laughs> that seems safe. Oh, and also because I've got the, um,. Hard key. I should be able to get into some other rooms back upstairs. Let's just hope Billy is out of the way. If Billy's roaming around. Don't hear anything. Brain completely miss failing. Billy's not here. Oh hi! Don't, hope you don't mind that I've just like left you bleeding here for a couple of minutes. Still alive. He's getting stronger with each skin he casts off. Sh Sherry. Tell me what I need to know. How can I save Sherry? I have detailed information. Oh. Everything you need to know to prepare the antidote is right here. Well, ain't that handy. Okay. Synthesis of G-Virus antigen, G-Vaccine. So he's a common Rider. I mean, he's certainly starting to look like one of those, um, sort of like, late in the episode common Rider monsters. Where he's just like a giant bug man. So, G-Vaccine codenamed Devil. Any beings infected with G-Virus will reproduce through impregnation of embryo inside another living being. Once rejected by the host, the embryo will undertake a process of gradual cellular invasion, infecting the host cells on a molecular level as it rewrites their DNA. Once the metamorphosis is complete, the host will be capable of continuing this cycle of self-replication. The duration of this will run its course will vary from subject to subject. The early stages of cellular invasion is possible to halt progression of the metamorphosis through <laughs> change by our weapon. Here we go. The following procedure details its synthesis. Vaccine creation requires the base vaccines. Can be arranged by the activator VAM. First set the empty cartridge to the VAM and activate it. After several moments the process will be complete and the white coloured base vaccine will be set in the cartridge automatically. Confirm the green light is on, remove the cartridge Proceed to next step. Once the base vaccine has been prepared, set it in the vaccine synthesis machine located on P4. Okay, so we know where that is, but we don't know where VAM is. The machine is fully automated, requires the user to push the sequence. At this point, the program will run automatically and synthesis will be complete within 10 seconds. The synthesis of Devil is an extremely delicate process. The quality will vary with slight shocks or changes in temperature. 
careful handling is required for the proper results. Okay, so try not to get schmacked. Save my daughter. And don't go through and the deep tell freeze. Her I'm sorry I wasn't a better mother. Tell her I love her. Sherry. Uh, Annette! Snake! Oh. The self destruct sequence has been activated. Repeat. The self destruct sequence. Who piss? This sequence may not be reported. All employees proceed to the emergency car at bottom platform. Okay, are we now on the clock? I'm going to assume we are now on the clock. Perceive moving object. We have perceived Leon. One more fight with uh, Billy. First things first, we need to save Sherry. Uh, wait, can I? Okay, we need an MO disc to get that open, which I sp I'm gonna have to hope that Leon has. We never had a fight with that thing. That looks like just optimal uh, boss fight material. Just grab these real quick, mate. Don't you mind me? Killed you things. No! Ow! No! Self destruct here is apparently very generous. Should be able to get in here now. Nice. And there we go. Ah. cartridge. Ruin this guy's day real quick. Here we go. This looks like J 
machinery. I'm sure it's fine to be firing a grenade around it. You do not have time to be picking fights. There we go. So okay, so this is this is Vam. Still got a a triple. We still got a whole bunch of uh, healing. So okay, base vaccine. So wait, if that's if that's base vaccine, what the heck is in here? So we need someone else to... That's fine. Let's get back down to the vaccine lab. Load the flame grenades because I might need to... Now when it says slight shocks, does that mean getting smacked or is it even as sensitive as just like running what's the how sensitive are we talking here is open. Stretch. to grab anything while I'm down here. Bring the extra grenades. I don't think we're going to need a whole lot of uh, inventory space.
Oh. Okay. So that, um... That pod, I assume, is where the, uh, the weapon upgrade would be if we had bothered to go and get it. Fire that bad way to the centrifuge. Three, two, one. dare run because I don't know if the game's going to be like you've been running too much and that's ruined the that's ruined it no zombie in it it's fine Unbearably slow. Scum. Howdy, Arva. You're being incredibly slow because I don't trust this game. Carrying an item that it said is is uh, susceptible to small shocks, and so I don't trust. Uh, I don't trust running. Yeah. <laughs> You arrived right in the middle of a uh, break, I'm afraid. Five minutes until detonation. Oh crap. I think we're going to have to fight Billy while we wait for the uh, lift. Oh! Oh god, he's got combo attacks now. Oh, you know, uh, we've just got five minutes until this entire place explodes. He's mutating even worse. Ugh. Just a mass of teeth now. Okay, grenades. You're not damaged, are you? Oh, he's a jumper, is what? Oh god, he's got me! Ow! Ow! Two 
the freaking corner here. Well, I don't like the dogs because they hunt in fucking packs and they can juggle combo you. Oh! Okay. I know he's about to get back up, but hopefully this is going to buy me enough time to at least get on the lift. We have two minutes and thirty. Don't give a shit about confirming my kills. I'm getting out of here. There's our boy. Mind your head. Now we have to outrun the fireball. Needle, or are you just gonna like make a drink in? Claire, what's happened? Not now. Come on, Cherry, wake up. Wake up. Please wake up. Claire? Where am I? It worked. Oh, Sherry. It worked. Be okay. I just noticed that Leon's got a huge bandage around his middle. What happened to you? Oh! Uh, Annette shoots him. I remember. He gets shot by a net. I have to find my brother. You're right. This is just the beginning. That leads into Code Veronica. Ah, my God has protected you. It will always be with you. Claire, <laughs> Sherry. Well, that was delightfully janky. Ugh, but. We are far from done yet. We uh, we still have Leon's story to experience, so we're. I'm gonna save my closing thoughts, and uh, we're just gonna chain it. If I can, can I not skip this? Oh, I can't skip the credit scenes. Dang it! But yeah, we're gonna we're just gonna chain this straight into. Um, to Leon's campaign. Weird the so I never I didn't figure out how to get into that um handprint security area. There must be a way in, surely. I won't give my closing thoughts as of currently, because we've still got, you know, half the game to go yet. Uh, but I'm going to offer at least some thoughts. And uh, yeah, this game is off to a, a pretty solid start. Uh, I said for... Um, that's for the B scenario. Okay. Yeah, well... We'll get to that when we do uh, Leon's story. But yeah, um, it's it's pretty solid. Uh, you know, some stuff hasn't aged too well, like the some of the visuals and the um, the uh, voice acting. But the uh, the gameplay is perfectly fine, if a little stiff. The atmosphere is great. I, I won't lie. The game has managed to managed to actually like get me. KG Nafune, huh? I didn't know he worked on this. Uh, he's the guy who would ultimately be behind the uh, Dead Rising games. But um, 
yeah, there's some stuff hasn't aged super well. Uh, some stuff has. Some stuff you kind of look back and you go, huh. Resident Evil 2. Now I wonder, is this the game where it starts like grading you based on your speed and item collection? Nice. Is that just cool splash art or ranking D? Ow. That hurt game. You really gonna do me like that? Jeez. Game really told me to get good. Yeah. Alright. Save. There we go. Leon B. Now, I need to change the disc, because this is a uh, PS1 game. So, we need to... Uh, I'm going to need to change the discs. So, don't go anywhere. We will be right back.